Hello, this is Dr. Gay. I just want to show you a nice example of facet arthritis and also a disc herniation. So this is a lumbar spine we're looking from the side. We can see the lumbar vertebral bodies here stacked on top of each other. And we can see that there are little pancakes in between each one. These are the intervertebral discs. And behind the vertebral column, here's a vertebral column. In back of it here, we have a spinal canal filled with white fluid. And also, you can see these little strings like spaghetti. These are all the nerves going through the spinal canal. And these come off an exit at each disc level. And if we look down here, at the bottom, we see two discs are dark. The top ones are all bright. So bright is right here. We have fluid uh, signal within these discs. And there's fluid here in the spinal canal. That means the discs are healthy when they have fluid in them. When they lose their fluid or become desiccated, they become dark like this. And so we can see right at first glance, we have some trouble with these lower discs. If we come here a little, uh, zoom it up a little bit here, we can see that this vertebral body has slipped forward slightly at L4 on L5. And if we go off to the left side, we see this thing back here. This is a facet joint. This is on the left side. This is the left facet is overgrown. There's a little bit of whiteness, a little bit of fluid in there a little facet effusion. And if we go off to the right-hand side, again, this big hypertrophic degenerated facet and a little bit of haze of brightness adjacent to it in the bone. There's some reactive marrow edema. Now, you can see a nerve coming out here just fine. This is the right L4 nerve. Looks good. If we go off to the other side. Oh, no. That's the nerve there on the left getting pinched and elevated by this um, end plate spurring and also this overgrown facet. Now, the worst thing of all is down here at L5-S1 on the left-hand side, we see this big, broad disc herniation. And this disc herniation goes off towards the left-hand side. Here's central, going off to the left like toothpaste. It squirts out and fills this left foramen. and it's pinching the left um, nerve here that comes off. There's the left L5 nerve root, and also there's another nerve here called S1. Now, if you're wondering what this looks like on another view, here we go. This is the front of the disc, back of the disc, right of the disc, left of the disc. And so this is the spinal canal and back. And we can see the disc herniation right over here. This broad thing here is the disc herniation. It starts here and goes backwards. And it's pushing back this nerve here. This is the left S1 nerve, causing probably sciatica. And then it also goes into this left foramen. This is where the nerve wants to come off to go to the legs, but it can't because this disc herniation is filling that left foramen and uh, uh, pushing on the nerve as it's exiting. So those are the findings. Thank you very much.